President-elect Joe Biden is starting to fill out his White House staff as he presses ahead with his transition. He's named his campaign's chief counsel, Dana Remus, as White House counsel. Senior campaign ads Jen O'Malley-Dillon, Steve Ricchetti, and Mike Donilon will join the Biden White House staff as well. Here to bring us up to speed on these announcements and the transition is Bloomberg White House reporter Tyler Page. Tyler, the trouble here is that he is not formally the president-elect yet because the transition has not yet begun because the current president has not conceded the race. So which of these appointments can be made without Senate confirmation or which of the key appointments can be made without Senate confirmation, um, seeing as we won't know the makeup of the chamber until after the Georgia runoffs? Exactly. So President-elect Joe Biden is focused on building out his senior White House staff, which is not uh, subject to Senate confirmation. He is able to populate the West Wing with aides and officials at, at his at his discretion and, and working with his chief of staff, Ron Klain, who he announced last week. So the announcements that we saw this morning, um, or some of which Bloomberg News broke uh, yesterday, um, are all uh, uh, aides to him and his wife who will be First Lady Jill Biden. They're all uh, longtime uh, advisors and aides, many of whom held top positions in the, in the Biden campaign that are now going to fill similar roles in his White House. Now, of course, Joe Biden made history with his vice presidential pick, a female who represents two minority groups. Yet when you look at his inner circle, it's very much made up of largely white men, guys who've been in the Biden universe for decades and who he feels comfortable with. So there's a natural tension there. How far out of his comfort zone will he go? Yeah, so uh, Joe Biden has been surrounded by some of the same advisors for many years. Um, and those that inner circle, as, as you mentioned, is predominantly white men. You, you know, his chief of staff, Ron Klain, senior advisors, Steve Roschetti, Mike Donlin, Ted Kaufman, um, Tony Blinken, who is rumored to be a favorite for uh, Secretary of State or National Security Advisor. But some of the announcements we saw today strayed from that, you know, typical white male advisor that Joe Biden has had. His campaign manager, who it was unclear whether or not she would go over to the White House. Jen O'Malley Dillon is joining as Deputy Chief of Staff. Um, another Deputy Campaign Manager, Julie Rodriguez, is joining the White House. So, you know, we saw some of those old-time classic Joe Biden advisors announced today, along with some people that have recently been added to his circle. Um, and so I think they're trying to show that he's bringing in a diverse range of voices into his White House. Cedric Richmond, the Louisiana congressman, who's going to re uh, resign his seat to join the, the West Wing. Um, so we're seeing a mix there, but but, you know, a lot of those uh, old time advisors have yet to be announced um, and they will likely join the administration as well. How diverse do we think he's going to go with some of the high profile posts, uh, such as Treasury Secretary and Secretary of State? Yeah, so those, uh, the cabinet is an area where I think we'll see Joe Biden make a lot of history. Um, we could see the first female secretary, uh, treasury secretary. We could see the first female defense secretary. Um, and, and I think we'll see in a lot of those cabinet positions, um, women and people of color who have not been historically represented in, in presidential administrations and cabinets. Okay. And of course, we'll wait to hear who he uh, nominates for Health and Human Services Secretary. That's going to be key given uh, the recovery from the pandemic, or at least once we get to that point. Tyler Pager, thank you so much for joining us today. Of course, we're all curious to see the final makeup of Joe Biden's administration. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.